A police chase in Pontiac ends with two men and a teenager in custody. Deputies were chasing them after a woman reported being robbed at gunpoint inside her apartment Friday night. When deputies tried to stop the suspect's truck, the driver took off before hitting another car. All four suspects inside tried making a run for it. Three of the four suspects are arrested and are now charged with armed robbery. Deputies are still searching for that fourth suspect. After a summer with so many power outages, DTE Energy announces it's going to spend $70 million for tree trimming. The investment is in addition to the $190 million the utility already spends on tree trimming every year. But the extra money will help add 300 additional tree trimmers and 200 additional line crews. That announcement comes as Attorney General Dana Nessel is looking into the utility. She's been asking anyone who's had extended power losses this summer to contact her office. Drivers in Plymouth have taken notice of poor conditions at some railroad crossings and they're letting the city and township hear about it. Yeah, residents have complained about a number of CSX crossings, but the city and township say the crossings are the railroad's responsibility and on top of that they're federally regulated. Plymouth is advising drivers to call CSX directly with complaints. State troopers arrest the driver of a stolen Dodge Charger after a chase in Detroit. State police say the driver crashed into a median in another car on eastbound Davison after driving away from police last night. That driver then tried to run and was taken into custody after being tased. Troopers say they found a loaded 9mm pistol and about $10,000 cash inside that vehicle.